Okay, we're going to do Niagara File, another cookbook recipe. Um, and again, here's the website if you want to look at um, any of uh, the latest and greatest NiFi stuff I put up there. And again, if you have any questions or any issues with uh, NiFi that, you know, I'd love to try and help you out, just um, send them to this uh, uh, email address uh, on the bottom here. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the next recipe. So recipe number one, and the problem is you've just uh, downloaded NiFi and you want to configure it for the best practice just pretty much out of the box. So I'm going to show you what I do uh, when I just download it and just want to set some things just really quickly. Um, how you do that is there's a uh, NiFi properties file that's in the conf directory. And I set the following four fields. I'll set the NiFi version if I need to. Uh, I'll give it uh, a banner. And I'll define a port number. The default, I believe, is 8080, so I'll give it my own port number. And then I'll go ahead and set the uh, sensitive property key settings. So why are we doing this? Well, uh, the properties file contains all the configuration settings necessary for NiFi. So the NiFi version um, is used to uh, just show the user in the About box uh, what version of NiFi you're running. So the reason you would set this is um, if you've got a version of NiFi, say it's 1.0, and you just download, you know, you download version 1.1, and you don't want to change your properties file, you can keep the current one you have for 1.0 and just put 1.1 in this NiFi version number here, and then you'll be good to go. Uh, the text, banner text, um, you just use that to put uh, your logo on the top and the bottom of the URL. Uh, you put your project name or version or whatever it is you want to do, but it's kind of a nice little thing to have. Um, and then the port number. Again, uh, the default port's 8080, and I just like to change it to something that I can have total control over. So, you know, whether it's 8123 or 9090, um, it doesn't really matter. And then finally, I like to set the sensitive properties key. And the reason you set this is um, if you're going to use any of the uh, processors that require a username and password, uh, the password is encrypted using this sensitive property key, and I'll show you how that's done in the uh, flow file, that XML file. But this property key um, is unique to the encryption, so if you, you know, you'll have a different encryption value depending on the property key set here. Okay, well, let's go ahead and look at a video of how to do these things. Okay, so first thing we're going to go to the NiFi directory, uh, conf, and then there's a file in there called nifi.properties. So we're going to go ahead and edit that with our notepad editor. Let's go ahead and edit that. And then you can see that it's, it's a text file with a bunch of uh, properties that uh, value property pair. So we have something, property on the left, and then this value is on the right with the equal sign. So the first thing we're going to set is the version number. So let's go ahead and replace that with 0.4.1 with something else. So we'll just make up a number here and say 1.2.3. And let's go ahead and scroll down and set our banner. And we'll just say my custom project. So that will appear on the top and the bottom of our NiFi GUI. It's called custom, right? And let's scroll down and look at the, let's see, the port number. And let's see, you see there's a lot of settings here. And, oh, there it is. Okay, so we're going to change 8080, and I'm just going to make up a number here, and we're going to call it uh, 9090. Okay, you can call it anything you want. And then we'll set the sensitive properties key, which, again, is used for uh, any encryption that's needed for any of these uh, modules that require, or processes that require a password. Okay, so we set those two. Let's go ahead and save it. And now we're going to go ahead and restart our NiFi instance. And you see the port number up here now is 9090. And let's go ahead and look at NiFi. And now you can see I have a banner. This is my custom project on the top and my custom project on the bottom. And if you go to the About box, we'll look at the version, and you can see it says 1.2.3. Now 
And then finally, let's just go ahead and add a processor that requires a password. So we'll see. We'll pick, um, how about SFTP? Oh, put SFTP, yeah. And this requires a, we're going to put a username and password in there. So there's a username. We'll uh, call it some name. And then we'll do the password. Call it some password. Whoops. And you can see, we'll go ahead and save it. If you want to take another look at it, you can see it says some um, uh, sensitive uh, value set. So again, it used that uh, encryption key to actually encrypt the password. So if we go ahead and look at the flowfile.xml, uh, I can show you how that looks. And it's encrypted. Let's go ahead and look at that. Under NiFi, conf, uh, we want flow.xml.gz. And again, I'm using 7 uh, unzip, I think. Let's look at this stuff. So let's go ahead and look at that. And there's a floated XML inside there. Whoops. And we're going to go ahead and edit that file just to take a look at the contents. This is the actual flow files used that we just created. So here we have the uh, SFTP. And if we scroll down, we see all the settings for it. Now specifically, we want to look for the setting where it says username. We put in some name. And underneath that is password, and then underneath that you can see the encrypted password. And that's going to change dependent upon what you set that uh, NiFi properties key to be. Um, so again, uh, you just uh, set those out of the box and you're really set to go.